And so it begins the race to March Madness, baby. And we got a lot to talk about, uh, to be completely honest with you. Now, if you don't know who I am, this is Big Boy Sports. Um, shout outs to the 48th guy or gal that ended up subscribing. You are the real MVP. You, 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 you're great. But have not made a video on college basketball this week, uh, but we're going to do it right now to end off the night and to end off the week, uh, well, the weekday portion of the videos, because there's going to be there's going to be some weekend videos, especially tomorrow, um, tomorrow after the XFL and, um, and after the games on the second day of the XFL games to, to really see what we got here. But that's not important. What is important is the top 16 teams being revealed on CBS at 12.30 Eastern, 11.30 Central. Um, now, last year, uh, it was great. Uh, the reveal of who's going to be the top 16 teams, or rather, who is the top 16 teams right now, because it's a lot harder this year to really determine. I know for certain, there's going to be some teams that are for certain. Baylor is one of them. Kansas maybe one of them. Um, Gonzaga is one of them. And San Diego State's one of them. Those are... Those are like four that I can name off the top of my head that I know are going to be top. That are going to be top seeds. Baylor's probably a top seed. Gonzaga's probably a top seed. San Diego State is probably a top seed. Um, there's no way you can't. You, you gotta give. You gotta give them both a top seed. Um, as far as San Diego State and Gonzaga are concerned, you gotta give them both a top seed. Um, Duke probably is going to be a top seed somewhere. Um, but as far as everybody else, it's anybody's game for those final 11, um, at the very least. Um, but yeah, that, that that is the start of a glorious day in college basketball as we, you know, prep for the XFL, stuff like that. We look at, well, week number 14, 14th week of, of the basketball season for our colleges and stuff like that. So... Let's take a good look here at the weekend slate because there is a lot to go over here. Um, and starting on Saturday, that's February 8th, it'll be Michigan State, Michigan. Now, Xavier Simpson got suspended from Michigan earlier this week for something. I don't know what it was, but he got suspended for it. Kind of tragic. Um, no, not really, but he got suspended for something. I forget what it was. He got suspended for. But he's not playing this Saturday against Michigan State. Michigan State's one of the teams that I've been ending up watching a lot of games for, so I know what they're capable of. They, they've got Tilman and they got Cassius Winston, and they got a whole lot of guys out there. Michigan's a team I haven't really seen in a while, so we'll see what happens there. As far as that goes, then you get to, um, of course, there's LSU Auburn. At that same time, LSU already lost the game this week, um, and Kansas TCU also at that time. So you know, if you if you're really that much of a that much of a person, it's just like, mm, well, I don't want to watch I don't want to watch Michigan. I don't want to watch um, Auburn. I could watch Kansas game if you're a Kansas fan or if you're an LSU fan or something like that. You know, there's all sorts of goodies. Or if you're just a college basketball fan in general, there's all sorts of goodies at the 11 a.m. noon Eastern time frame. Lots of games there. Um, but after the selections of the top 16, on CBS it'll be Kentucky, Tennessee. Tennessee really is just kind of there. And Kentucky's, you know, they're, they're still plowing along the SEC. Um, I don't think they're first in the conference, though. Um, but yeah, there's a lot for that to unpack. And as we move downward here, we got Seton Hall and Villanova at 2.30 Eastern, 1.30 Central Time. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to watch this at all because the XFL game is going to be on. So I don't know if that's going to happen at all. But if it does, let me tell you, I'm going to be excited. 
I'm excited to, you know, watch some, uh, some, some good teams here at Seton Hall, Villanova, because the Big East race is heating up, and there's a lot left to be desired there, as far as the conference um, title goes, the regular season anyway. As far as my Longhorns go, same old, same old. Um, playing Texas Tech does not really matter all that much. And as we get move along a little bit forward here, we got Baylor, Oklahoma State at 5 o'clock or 4 p.m. if you live on the Central. Yeah, oh, yeah, 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock here, that's 6 o'clock on the um, in the East Coast. My bad. Um, Duke, North Carolina is apparently going to be the main game that ESPN's hyping up. North Carolina's not very good this year. They're not even going into the tournament or anything like that, I don't think. Unless they could improve in the next five weeks or so, but I don't, I don't really think they're doing anything as far as, you know, North Carolina is considered. Baylor is still the number one team, um, at the very least right now. So, I mean, it's kind of flip-flopping between them, Gonzaga, and San Diego State. Flip-flopping back and forth and stuff like that. But, um, that should be fun if... If the, X, if the XFL is kind of a turnoff for you, um, just go ahead and put those two games on. And lastly here, um, let's see. If you want to watch um, the two teams that really have not had any competition in a while, if you want to watch Gonzaga, um, you can watch them at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock on the um East Coast, they're taking on St. Mary's on the road, and um, San Diego State's take play in Air Force at 8 o'clock, that's 7 o'clock in the central time zone, so uh, if you want to watch an unbeaten team play in the Mountain West, you know, um, you know, there's that for you, but um, not a lot that I can say about San Diego State or Gonzaga because I really haven't watched a lot of the games at all. I don't think I've watched a Gonzaga game or the San Diego State game this year, which is kind of tragic. Um, but Sunday, 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 there's only one game that I think, you know, on Sunday because everything else is on Saturday. But there's one game to pay attention to, probably, if it's Ohio State, Wisconsin. Um, Wisconsin's been having some up and down type games, and so was Ohio State, they, were, they had lost like six or seven games at one point, and these two teams, these two teams are um, going a little bit closer, um, they're getting a little bit close to that, that tournament bid, they can lock it up very, very shortly, stuff like that, as long as they get enough wins, you know, in conference play, um, but yeah, that's basically it, um, Sunday's a lot less, you know, packed with games because I mean what it what else is there to do on on, on Sunday but uh, in the likelihood I will be here for that Ohio State Wisconsin game so I'll be able to watch that and that game is at noon or 1 p.m. if you again if you live on the East Coast and stuff like that so um, but yeah let me take a look here and I'm let me take a look here at some college basketball standings, you know, where we are right now. Because Friday nights are really not, you know, something that you can just be like, mm, well, there's some quality college basketball on tonight. Uh, but definitely, you know, let's see, the load, yes it will. Um, as far as the American Athletic Conference is concerned, there's a lot of teams in here. But I think you can, you know, go to the tournament. There's at least six right now. SMU is one of them. Houston is one of them. I have not seen anything involving them. Um, Memphis has skidded a little bit. Uh, but they're still a good team. They're in the fourth place right now. Cincinnati's 8-2. and two, um, Along with Houston in the conference play. So, you know, they're leading the pack right now. Tulsa right behind them. i got to watch a Tulsa game at some point. i got to. But... Um, have not talked about Dayton either. I forgot about Dayton there. Um, they're still sitting there at 9-0 in conference play. I'm not sure when they play. Um, take a look here. Let's 
see who they play tomorrow. They play St. Louis tomorrow, so if you want to watch the number six team in the nation, you know, you can watch Dayton. Um, but yeah, Dayton's still 22. They're playing um, St. Louis tomorrow. And St. Louis is like, what, in seventh place right now in, in the Atlantic 10. I think um, the Atlantic 10 probably is going to have maybe one to four bids. Um, more likely, you know, down the later stretches. Of what I was just saying, you know, probably like three to four bids. This conference will get um, Rhode Island's definitely a team that's going to be right there to Duquesne and St. Bonaventures as well. Um, here we go with the ACC. It's going to be um, Louisville, definitely one of those teams that could be like, you know, in that top 16 tomorrow. Uh, Florida State as well. I don't think Virginia will be one of those teams, um, but. Definitely Louisville, who's 11-1 in conference play, 20-3 and overall. Duke, 19-3. and And Florida State, also 19-3. and And both these two teams are 9-2 in conference play, I think. I think these three will definitely be somewhere in that top 16 tomorrow. Uh, Big 12, as far as that goes, Baylor and Kansas is still leading the way. West Virginia is right behind them, along with Texas Tech. And really, again, Big 12's not really as strong this year. I mean, yeah, they got some, yeah, they got a couple of stinkers down here at the bottom, like Kansas State, Iowa State, and Oklahoma State. I don't think there's going to be very many teams to make the tournament from this conference this year. Texas is not going to be one of them if they don't get enough wins, and I don't think we have enough wins right now. TCU probably not either. Maybe Oklahoma. Maybe not. I don't know, but at least these four at the very top are going to probably get a bid. That That's my estimation. Um, the Big East, Seton Hall still has a comfortable lead. They're 9-1 in conference play, but Villanova, Butler, Marquette, Creighton, Providence, Xavier, I mean, all these teams are like right there in the mix. Sure, Xavier's like 4-6 and six in conference play, but you know, there is a lot of parity in this conference in the Big East right now. Lots of parity. As far as the Big Ten is concerned, Maryland and Illinois are still at the front of the conference and stuff like that. But there is a lot of teams that are just like, mm, well, maybe we can get to the tournament, man. Um, probably not Nebraska or Northwestern. They both suck. But... These top 12, you know, it's going to be old. It's going to be it's going to be crazy, let me tell you that, as far as, you know, what's going to happen to the Big Ten. Um, special shout-outs again to the UNT Mean Green, still doing what they do in conference play. 9-2 right now with LA Tech right behind them and Western Kentucky. So the Conference USA looking, looking a lot better this year. There's nothing really here that I can say about the Mountain West. And the Pac-12. Pac-12 right now. Colorado's, Colorado and Oregon are leading the pack, leading the charge right now. Colorado's a team I haven't seen a lot of. But Oregon is a team that I've seen a lot of. They play some good defense. Um, but I don't know how many bids the Pac-12 will have considering, you know, Stanford's kind of falling off after having a, such a strong start. Um, maybe probably these four, Colorado, Oregon, Arizona, USC right now. And I don't think anybody from the Mac 12 is going to be in the top 16. Don't think so. Um, but SEC though, probably Auburn. Auburn's probably going to be in that top 16 or 22. But they are 72 in conference play. LSU just lost their first game. Again, I said this earlier. They lost their first game in conference play a couple days ago. Um, but yeah, keep an eye on LSU, Auburn, and Kentucky. Florida's right behind them, though. And South Carolina's sneaking in there as well. Uh, as far as the other conferences go, nothing really here to say at all. I mean, yeah, the West Coast Conference is looking a lot better this year. You know, there's a lot of good teams in the West Coast Conference this year. And, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. 
Um, but yeah, that's going to do it, everybody. So get prepped for the top 16 tomorrow. Um, and we're going to have a good time tomorrow, let me tell you that, with XFL going on and college basketball. Don't even pay attention to the Golden State Warriors game tomorrow. Just don't. Don't even do it. Um, but yeah, that'll do it, everybody. Y'all take care. Have a good night. I'll see you guys on Saturday night.